You know, a growing number of Americans are really going to extremes to get life-saving insulin. They're going to Canada. The drug is much cheaper there. Maria Villarreal has some of their stories. I'm going to change my insulin pump now. Deb Souther wakes up every morning knowing her life depends on insulin. For us, insulin is like air. It's like oxygen. We need it. Even with insurance, Deb says it costs more than $750 a month for the three vials she goes through. So early last Friday morning, she joined about a dozen other diabetics on a bus heading from Minneapolis to Canada, where insulin costs about 90% less than at home. Quinn Nystrom coordinated the trip, her second to Canada in two months, 800 miles for medicine with a message. It has become a life and death situation for a lot of people, hasn't it? Correct. People are dying because they cannot afford insulin, and it only costs these companies three to six dollars to manufacture a vial of insulin. They chose London, Ontario because it's where insulin was developed nearly a century ago. The drug is cheaper in Canada primarily because the country has universal health care. The government negotiates costs and is allowed by law to cap prices. In the U.S., insurance companies make individual deals with drug makers and the uninsured pay market price. Three companies make insulin. All say they offer patient assistance programs. In a statement, Novo Nordis told CBS News, we recognize that our health care system is broken, adding we know more must be done to ensure insulin affordability and we are committed to being part of the solution. For now, this is the group's solution. I have never yeah, held kinda. this much insulin before. It's like it makes me want to cry. <laughs> this vial in the United States is $340. This vial today, $30. It's just because you bought it in Canada. It's because I bought it in Canada. That's the only difference. One in four Americans are rationing their insulin because they cannot afford it. Quinn Nystrom is fighting for herself, her younger brother, who also has diabetes, and the other seven and a half million Americans who rely on insulin to stay alive. I don't care what political party you are. We're the United States of America, and we stand up for our brothers and sisters. And we are literally letting a medication that was discovered 99 years ago become so unaffordable because of greed and because of partisan bickering. And we're letting type 1 diabetes now in 2019 become a death sentence again. Mireya Villarreal, London, Ontario, Canada. A story worth hearing.